All right, all right, LDMMAC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, 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 this is the fight for the baddest mother PG-13 channel. Man, Jorge Masvidal versus Nathan Diaz. You know what, guys? This is what you guys been waiting on. All of you dudes was waiting on this fight. This fight, hands down, it was worth every penny. It was worth waiting all day and anticipating. I had to get all my workouts done early because I wanted to have enough energy to watch this fight and stay up and give you all these videos live, live, live on the Coach's Channel, the Coach's Channel live. I wanted to. And that's what I did tonight. Tonight. That's right. Man, listen, man. Although this was a good fight, Nate Diaz, to me, he had a speed disadvantage and a strength disadvantage and a power disadvantage. But God dog, boy, you can never stop the heart of a champion. You can never stop the heart of a champion. Nate Diaz, I mean, uh, Jorge Masvidal, more athletic, more faster, more explosive, everything. He's got Nate Diaz except for the jiu-jitsu. But other than that, he's got Nate Diaz beat on every single spectrum. But Nate Diaz came in there and made Jorge Masvidal fight and bite down on his mouthpiece. These guys were getting napped of it, man. Jorge Masvidal landed the more clean effect of strikes. You know, on the strike metrics, though, the whole night, it said... That, uh, you know, Nate Diaz landed more punches on, on uh, Jorge Masvidal. I really, I find that hard to believe. I find it hard to believe. I just do. Um, I thought that in the clinch, I thought that uh, Jorge Masvidal, to my surprise, did a better job. In the clinch versus Nate Diaz. And he also got some, some very good takedowns. And I said, damn, Nate Diaz? But I noticed, too, that Jorge Masvidal was real careful. He was real careful not, okay? He was real careful not to get into a guard of Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz, I think in round one or round two, he put a heel hook onto a Jorge Masvidal. And then he tried to transition to a knee bar. Okay, none of those worked. I knew that Jorge Masvidal wasn't going to tap out to a heel hook. And I knew he damn sure wasn't going to tap out to a knee bar. You'd have to break the guy's leg or knee or ankle for him. And he still wouldn't give up. He would fight on one leg. That's what Jorge Masvidal would have did. Um, but... You know, Nate was unsuccessful. We get into round two, man, and I just saw Jorge Masvidal just picking up the pace. Uh, these two were telling each other to come on, let's fight. But I saw Jorge Masvidal stunning Nate Diaz, man. And I started, I really started to think for a minute, man. Can Nate Diaz take this for five rounds? Can he really, really take this for five rounds? It, it, is, is this going to be, like, viable for him? Because he was getting his ass whooped, okay? I mean, yes, this was a good fight. It was back and forth. But Jorge Masvidal did the bulk of the damage. I thought that Jorge was getting his ass. I mean, uh, I thought that Nate Diaz was getting his ass whooped in there. I, I thought he was, guys. I like Nate Diaz, but I got to call it how I see it. Okay? I just, I got to call it like I see it. Jorge Masvidal looked at Nate Diaz when he hit him and laughed at him and said, do it again. This Jorge Masvidal. Nate Diaz did the same thing, but the difference is Nate Diaz got stunned and Jorge Masvidal wasn't stunned. That's right. Nate Diaz played it off well, but I know he was hurt. Nate Diaz played it off real well when he got hit and he got stunned and he started doing the stanky leg. Doing the stanky leg. He started doing the stanky leg. He played it off well, but the legs don't lie. The man was hurt. The man was hurt. And I, me, Coach Shelton Harrison, I honestly don't think he could have made it another two rounds. I don't think so. That's right. I said made it another two rounds because the doctor, this goofy doctor, this goofy Dr. Evil, Mr. Egghead, Mr. Potato Head looking ass doctor, stop the fight. Oh, look at that funny guy. It's just super Mr. Potato Head. That doctor. Oh, the doctor the doctor wow you know and you got a troll here I don't care about what you think I know what I saw Albert I'm doing this post fight analysis live live and in my opinion and I'm gonna keep my opinion and there's not a damn thing you especially you Albert are gonna do about it that's right in my opinion Jorge Masvidal did the better body of work the doctor stopped the fight. 
I didn't think the cut was that bad, okay? I didn't think the cut was that bad, but I thought that Nate Diaz was hurt, okay? Sorry. I don't know. I, the legs don't lie. The legs don't lie to me, okay? It is what it is, okay? In my opinion, I don't care if you don't agree with my opinion. That's fine, but I keep my opinion. It's not a damn thing you can do about it. I think that Jorge Masvidal was hurting Nate Diaz. And I think the doctor stepped in, not because of the cut. I think this doctor thought that Nate Diaz was legit going to get hurt. I thought so. Okay? I thought so. But at the end of the fight, man, I loved it. There was a guy, Jorge Masvidal was giving his post-fight interview. And there was a guy. A guy began to boo Jorge Masvidal. And Jorge Masvidal said, hey, hey, shut up. It ain't my effing fault. I'm not an effing doctor, okay? I'm not an effing doctor. Hey, I bet you won't boo me to my face and that fan shut up. <laughs> oh, Jorge Masvidal made that fan shut up, boy. I tell you, that was bright. That, that was beautiful. But the BMF, the baddest mother PG-13 channel is Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. And that, but that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.